Hi everybody, this is Will Bowen with today's Jumpstart. Continuing to walk here along the Wangpu River. Thank you for joining me here in Shanghai, China. And today I want to talk about the word no. It's one of the first words we learn as a child. It's designed to help keep us safe. Unfortunately, it's a word we tend to forget to use. Many people who feel like other people are telling them what to do, pushing them around, are simply not using their no. I had to use mine several times here. I, I call it putting my foot down, of course, and I think when I get home, my foot's going to be about 10 times bigger than it was when I got here because I've been putting it down a lot. Um, yesterday, we went, or day before yesterday, rather, we did some sightseeing. Uh, um, an assistant here took me to some Buddhist temples, and we went on a cruise of this river in a boat, and uh, it was really cool, and I asked her to shoot a number of pictures of me, and she did. Now, mind you, I was still wearing the same clothes I had slept on on the plane three days earlier because my suitcase had not made it here. So uh, anyway, she shot these pictures, and I had sent copies to my wife, copies to my daughter, and then she said that she wanted copies of the pictures too. And I said, why do you want copies of my personal pictures? And she said, well, because we're going to send them out to potential clients and tell them that we represent you and, we, and they can hire you to come here to China through us. And I said, um, those are my personal souvenir pictures. I was not shaved. I was wearing crappy old clothes. I'm not comfortable with you using those as promotional pictures. I have sat for so many promo pictures in the last 12 years with different photographers. There are literally thousands of pictures of me out there. So no, you can't have. And so I explained it to her and then I said, so my answer is no. And I let it hang there for a second. And I didn't say anything else. And I've noticed that so often when we do stand up for ourselves and we say no, we'll say no. And then we'll start defending our decision. Well, I'm, I, no because of this, and no because of that, no because of this, and blah, 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 blah. Before we know it, we've talked ourselves out of it, or we've shown our weakness. The word no is the strongest word you can use. I once knew a man, and I remember, uh, I say once knew him, I haven't seen him in years, but one of the things that I got from him was that the importance of saying no. He was a minister of a big African-American church in uh, Georgia, and he was telling me that People just don't know how to say no. And so when people come in and ask him to do things at the church that he doesn't want to do, he says, I'm sorry, but the answer is no. And then he says, but, and then if the people start complaining or start arguing with him, he says, you know what? I'll explain the N and I'll explain the O, but I will not explain myself. Isn't that good? I'll explain the N and I'll explain the O, but I will not explain myself, and that doesn't change the answer, which is no. And he always says it with a smile on his face. And after he told me that, I got to thinking about, do you realize that the word no is one of the few words in the English alphabet that is prepackaged for your convenience? In other words, it literally comes to you in the alphabet. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, L, M, N, O, N, O. The word is in the freaking alphabet. And yet so often we have trouble saying it. So if you find yourself being taken advantage of, if you find yourself feeling like other people are manipulating you, etc., you need to begin to exercise your no. Have the courage to say N-O. And I'll be happy to explain the N and the O, but I won't explain myself because the answer won't change. The answer is no. Give it a try today. You don't need to explain yourself. Just say your answer and stand in it. People will begin to respect you. The reason people don't respect your no is because you've been defending it and justifying it up till this point. And if the person doesn't agree with your justification, then you often drop it. This time, simply stand in it, put a smile on your face. I'll explain the in and the o, but I won't explain myself. Give it a try. Enjoy today. We'll talk tomorrow. Bye-bye.